Events are very important in any web application. In this video, we will learn how to work with the event binding in Angular. First of all, what are events? Whatever action user is making on your UI, that is called as event. For example, user is clicking on a particular button or image or any other element that is called as an event. So clicking is an event, hovering your mouse is an event, changing something that is also an event. There are loads of other events in the JavaScript and we can use all of them over here in the Angular. Let's learn about the event binding. Here we are using the same application that we have created in the previous video. And here let's remove some of the code and let's make it very simple. So we only have one property. This is the name as of now. And here on the app.compare.html file, let's remove this extra work from here. Like this. This one also. So we only have the name and that name is visible over here. Now let's say I'm creating a new button over here. So immediately you can see that the design of this button is visible over here on this browser. Now let's say I want to implement some action on clicking of this save button. Let's create a new method over here. You can give any meaningful name to your method. It is not necessary to use click or anything like that. You can do anything over here. And let's say I'm using the void keyword and here simply I will use the alert. And in the alert, I will just display hello. Now I have to bind this particular method to the click event. And for that, let's just copy this name, go back to the HTML and over here we have to use the parenthesis. For the event binding, we have to use parenthesis all the time. And inside this parenthesis, you have to write the name of your event. In plain JavaScript, when we have to work on the click event, then we simply use on click. But here in Angular, you do not have to use that on keyword. You simply have to use the click like, like this. And then here you have to provide the name of your method or the action that you want to perform for this particular event. So on click on this event, I want to call this method. And that is what I'm doing over here. Now let's click on the save button and immediately you can see we are having an alert box. It is having the value that we have written in the method It is hello. Now let's say instead of displaying this alert, I want to make some changes in this name property. So here I'm writing this dot name is equals to with this updated. Save the changes and this time let's click on the save button. Immediately you can see that the text of this particular name property has been updated and because we are using the interpolation so if there is any change in that property here in the component file that will be reflected automatically on the html phase and that is exactly is happening over here so by default we are having the value of this name is Nitish Kosik. then on click of that button we are making some change in that property and once the changes will be done those changes will be reflected immediately on the html file save the changes because we are having a reload that is why we are having the default value over here now let's focus on one more event and let's say this time i will be using mouse over and in javascript we use own mouse over but here we simply have to use mouse over like this and this time let's say i'm having over this is the name of my method and let's get this method over here and just for the learning purpose let's simply use this name save the changes let's go to the browser and here you can see if i will hover my mouse on this button and immediately you can see the text of this name has been updated. I have not click on this button. If I will click on the button now, then you can see again, this name property has been updated. So this is how you can use multiple events on one single element. Let's try to learn few more events over here. So let's say I'm having one input box, input text. And here let's remove this name and ID because we do not need that. 
and here I will be using one on change event and because we do not include on here in angular so we simply have to use the change word change and let's use the text change method save the changes let's create this method in the component file here this dot name let's simply use change save the changes here you can see we are having this text box if i will make any change in this particular text box let's see here i'm writing aa and i'm clicking out of this text box then immediately you can see that the change event has been fired and we are having the updated value of the name over here this is how you can work with the events in angular there are lots of other events that are available in the angular like on change click mouse over mouse out key down etc